everyone welcome back to lovely lavender wishes it's renee i hope you're having a very blessed day so today we had a huge storm come through and i had to kind of wait for the storm to pass by because um the thunder and lightning and everything was knocking out the power and i knew if i started this video in the middle of that storm the power would probably all go out right in the middle <laughs> so i had to wait for the storm to go by so it's a little dreary day today but i hope you are all happy and um not so jury. <laughs> um, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to not match the weather as much as I possibly can. Um, so today we're going to be in Philemon. Um, I think that's how you say it. Um, but here Paul is pleading for Onesimus. Onesimus was a slave of Philemon who ran away, got to Paul at some point, and worked with Paul. And now Paul is sending him back. And he's writing this letter to Philemon, the master of Onesimus, saying, you know, please take him back. Um, Take him back, not as your bond servant. It says here in verse 16, no longer as a bond servant, but more than a bond servant, as more like a be beloved brother, you know, both in flesh and in the Lord. Um, so it's just a letter pleading to Philemon to take back this man um, more like a brother versus as a, sl as a runaway slave. Um, but the verse I'm going to be focusing on, really, I saw a page done um, in one of my... Um, uh, Facebook uh, uh, groups about bold faith. And so I'm focusing on verse eight here it says, accordingly, though I am bold enough in Christ to command you to do what is required, yet for love's sake, he is preferring to appeal to him. So he says, you know, essentially um, he can command Philemon to take Onesimus back, but he's just pleading for him to take him back. He's like, just do the right thing. Um, but I am bold enough in Christ. So that is the verse that I am focusing on. So I'm going to, I am bold enough in Christ. And I pray that I could be bold enough in Christ. Um, because I've been having, like I told y'all, some some questions and some crises of faith lately. And just, I have a lot of things going on. And so I am, I'm praying for more boldness. And also, yeah, like Hebrews 4, um, let me see if I can... Even that, it might all be, I was going to say, it might all be uh, journaled up in here, but um, I don't know, it might be this way. I don't even know. I don't even know where I am in the Bible at this point. Oh yeah, here we go. Hebrews, I'm like, it could be the other way. Hebrews 4, um, let's see, I think it's verse 14 through 14 through 16. Oh yeah, it says, since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the son of God, let us hold fast our confession for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, thank God, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are yet without sin. Let us then, here's the verse 16, let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace. So not even with confidence, the word here could also be with boldness. Draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace in, and find grace to help in time of need. And so if you look up the word be bold or be strong or be firm in the Lord, you can do a whole word study on that. But today um, I'm going to be titling this Bold Faith. I saw a page done in one of my Facebook groups called Bold Faith. And I'm kind of taking some of those ideas and doing my own thing as usual. So I have, let me grab this. I grabbed, I grabbed these or snagged these um, for $1.24, y'all. It was like on clearance. This is either from Michael's or Hobby Lobby when they had clearance. And then this one was like 74 cents for this whole packet of four designs of five each. So 20 envelopes of these little, like little girls. And so they kind of match. They're like these little um, personal planner girls, but I'm going to use them instead. So they come with like a big face on the front and then like a full body on the back. And I know I'm going to cover her up, but I'm going to use this one. I'm going to cut her out and use her as bold faith. And it's like, I, I just think she's bold. She's standing there with her hand on her hip. Her She's winking. It's like, she's got this confidence and boldness to her. So I was like, Ooh, I like her and I like the colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of cut this out and I'm going to cut some of these, um, I don't know, uh, what, are the, what do you call those? <sighs> Splatters out with her. And again, I am just roughly cutting this out with my little Cutterby scissors. I like those little splatters. We'll keep some of those. Is 
And it's just a rough cut. Yeah, I just like that. We'll throw that away. So see, aw, her little head right there. <laughs> and then the envelope, I love these envelopes because here, since I'm talking about bold faith, I can use these envelopes to put like my prayers in. So I'm gonna probably glue her down here and keep this open so I can stick prayers or scripture cards or whatever else I want in there. So she's gonna be here. So I did prep my page both sides with some clear gesso. I'm grabbing some frayed burlap distressing. So we're gonna do a lot of stuff on this page. We're gonna be uh, uh, inking it up. We are going to be stenciling it up. We are going to be I don't know, stamping it up. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do layer upon layer upon layer. So right now I am just getting a quick, um, edge around here and you can always go back in and do more color just slop it on the page y'all it doesn't have to be perfect and actually I kind of like the more rustic it is and crazy it is um, to me I kind of like that look <laughs> So I'm just putting an edge right now around this and watch probably most of it will be covered up that's why I'm doing it very quickly because it's really just there for part of the color and I think I'm only going to go about halfway up this page just doing like some circle-y color off my brush okay there's the first layer and then I'm gonna do let's see some weathered wood which is kind of like a grayish blue because I'm, I'm working off the colors off her well let's see if I can get some on my brush come on we can do this Ugh. is my ink out I don't think so. Let's get this thing started. Well, come on. I thought I was using this earlier and it was working. Maybe I just need to get some more on my brush. Well, hmm. I don't think I have another one of these. Darn it, no. Well, we'll use what I got. We'll get some of the color on here. I think I'm getting on my hands. Let me go like this. And let me move her so I don't get ink on her. We'll get some of the color on here. middle part too. I don't know if y'all can see it on camera. It's a little light, but we're going to put more colors on. So I just want to get a good base going here. a little bit now she's gonna be right about here so I don't have to do much in the middle there's no point if she's gonna cover it all okay let's go over here yeah it looks like my weathered wood is about all weathered out <laughs> to put some more refresher but if it's completely out I'm not sure if that will work ok 
Okay, well, did that a little bit. So let me wipe that up. There's not much on the brush. Okay, I got this peacock. This one, I think, has a lot on it, so I'm going to be careful with this one. Peacock glue. Mix it in with the colors. It's getting all swirly there. I don't know, y'all. This is going to be a hodgepodge page. We'll see how it turns out. Right now it's looking like a hot mess, but we'll get there. We're in the hot mess stage. I always get hit that stage at one point on my pages and I'm like, oh gosh, is this going to even turn out the way I'm hoping? <laughs> and then, uh, you know, little by little, layer upon layer, it starts to come together in some shape or form, which is pretty cool how that works. So right now, like I said, I'm just putting layer upon layer. And I want to really kind of get this darkened up a little bit in some spots, in some areas. So we got that color. Ooh. One of my light bulbs just went out, y'all. Did you see that light just go down? I've been having some issues with my light bulbs. Ooh, that was a really dark spot, there we go. Just rub it out, rub it out. Okay. Okay, now I want to really oops, darken these edges up. Let me get this ink off. Okay, I'm going to use the faded jeans. Actually, I'll just use this other brush here. Let's see how this one looks. Ooh, there we go. That's nice and dark. I'm going to try to keep it regulated to the edges. And I'm just going in like circular motions. That's why I'm getting all these kind of swirls. hard down the spine though so I'm just gonna do up and down a little bit and then if you get a really dark spot that you don't like you can always spray it with water and get rid of it but I, I actually like some of these like darker and lighter spots I think it's reacting with uh the gesso on the page, how I uh, just slap the gesso on for prepping this page. And I still might have some water in these brushes um, due to when I was washing these brushes at an earlier time. So there might be some water. These parts of the brushes still might be a little wet. So I'm getting some of these darker spots, but I don't mind, don't mind. Okay, let's keep going. So y'all, I cannot believe we are, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm taping this at the end of August. I don't know when you guys are all gonna see it, probably September um, at some point. But, oh my gosh, y'all, this year, the time. I mean, I'm glad this year is going fast because I am just trying to make it through this year at this point. This has been a brutal year for me. But, you know, who's to say it's not going to continue into next year? So, you know, I'm just trying to get through day by day right now, not even just through the year. But I cannot believe we're already in 
August, end of August, almost September. This is craziness, craziness. Okay, there's certain spots that I wanna get a little bit darker. Oh, I gotta do the other page too, so. All right, Whew, I'm getting all. Okay, she's gonna go there. I got these like swirly, it's kind of matching her hair, her clothes. Okay, I like that. Okay, now let's do this side. Ooh, that was a bright piece. And what I'm gonna do with that is spray this a little bit and I'm going to go in, see I don't want, see if you don't like it, just go in with some water fade it out. Easy peasy. I want to kind of gradually fade out right there. Oh, then I got this piece. We'll just fade it out with a paper towel, just like so. But yeah, this year felt like it was dragging. <laughs> I mean, the stuff I've been going through this year, I feel like this year has been dragging, but then again, you know, it goes so fast. I don't know, it's, time is so weird, <laughs> y'all. Time is very, very weird. But you've all been there, y'all know. Time can either go super, super slow or super, super fast. It's just so weird how that how that works. Okay, again, a couple pieces here that I just kind of don't want. There we go. And I think I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna put a little bit of water on this. And I'm gonna kind of go in and just fade this out a little. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of giving me this, um, dreamy type look around the middle part. I like that. Ooh, I really like that. So I'm gonna kind of go over here and do the same thing. Another happy accident. That's one thing I like about playing with these distress inks and oxides and all that. So I'm actually gonna go really lightly over the whole thing now. And this is kind of blending it all in all together a little bit. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more and just... Okay. The same over here. Kind of gives it that like just dreamy state. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to... <laughs> wash off my fingers as much as possible. Get this ink off. Okay. Whew, so we got that done. Okay, I have this uh, adhesive screen stencil. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start stenciling and stamping on here. If I could figure out how to open this thing. Where is the end? Here we go. So we're gonna do some of this screen stencil. It's a very light, very thin piece. And let's go in with the faded jeans. Oop, let's do that. I'm just gonna pick some sections here. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, woo, love it. Okay, let's do some down here. Ooh, I like that. Let's 
just a little bit coming in here. And let's put some over here. I love about just stenciling you can you can just add so much to a page just with these little stencils I'm just gonna put a little bit up there oh I love that love it. let's put some along the side we gotta put some more over here have it coming out like that okay and I have to have some over here coming out of the edge here okay so there's that Wipe this off really quick. Oop. Now it is kind of sticky on the back a little, so that's why you always want to store it back on its little the little piece it comes with, so it it will remain like a little sticky and adhesive, so you can stick it to your page time after time after time. These you can clean with water, so I'll clean that later. Okay, so now. I think I want to stick her down. Oh, why is this not? There we go. I don't know why it wasn't going on. So I think I want to put her down now. So let's get the glue. Oh, goodness. Oh, this is the one that's almost out. Well, let's finish it up. Let's do as much as we can. And there went that one. Let's grab this one. Let's see, where should we put her? Right about there. Does that look good, y'all? Right about there. And then I want to stick her down. Do I want to stick her down now? We'll wait on her. I mean, I think I'm going to do a few more things before I stick her down. Okay, so I grabbed these uh, stamps. They look like this. They look like this. There are a bunch of different scripts and such. I think I got that one from... Where did I get it from? <sighs> AliExpress, perhaps? I am not sure. So I want like a lot of like script stamping going on here. So I am going to put, get my black soot and I'm gonna ink up these stamps. There we go. And I wanted some on coming over her. Let me wash this off my table. <laughs> and let's do, whew. it's hard because this is a, such a big stamp, but I don't want to put it on a, I don't want to put it on a, um, whatever, acrylic block because I just want to use like certain sections of this. So I'm gonna have some of it coming. Woo. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let me put this down. There's a couple spots here that I do not like at all. So I am going to dab those up with some water. And we're gonna put other stuff down so that it'll get covered. I just don't like those really dark, dark spots. That's another thing that'll happen if you're not using acrylic uh, blocks with your stamping. Um, if you're just pressing down on it, you might get a few things like that, so. Okay, let's put some stamping along there. Stamping along there. Let's do another one of these.
Did it again. This one little spot. I'm pressing too hard on the acrylic. Okay, we'll fix that. There we go. Let's put some stamping down. Okay, and then let's do some over here. Some of this script. Some of this script. And then some down here. There we go. And maybe, hmm, just maybe a little bit more. Just right up there. Okay. So we got our black script down. Gonna add that. Lots of Larry. <laughs> okay, let me move this. <sighs> okay. The other thing I want to do is some more layering, but let me grab a paper towel, wipe myself off the best I can, and let's dry that a little bit. Just make sure that ink is completely dry, especially these really dark spots. So by stamping over the picture here, it's kind of like you're incorporating it into the page. So it's not just like a picture just stuck on the page. By doing stamping or anything over the picture that you just glued down, that kind of like helps blend it into the page that you're doing. That's why I did that. Okay, now this one, I think I'm going to, we're gonna glue her down now because then we're gonna put more on top of her. So I am just putting glue on the back side of her this envelope so the envelope will stay open and let's see i think i want her right here I'll put her right there so this part is still open so i can put in any prayer cards scripture verses whatever i want in there okay so i'm gonna grab my palette here and i'm going to grab i brought grab some acrylic paint this is blue this is a navy blue acrylic paint so i'm gonna shake it up I had some there from the other day that I never washed off. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the palette. I'm gonna grab a brush. Now I have this stamp, this stamp here, which was from, oh, where did I get this one from? It's all these um, stamps here, silicone clear stamps. It's Globeland, and this is the one I'm using right here that one kind of like this frayed background and oh, I got that from oh BB craft BB craft I did a whole bunch of uh videos on BB craft so they sell acrylic um stamp they sell a ton of like journaling stuff which I was surprised to see because normally BB craft is I thought was like jewelry making and stuff but actually they have a lot of um scrapbooking stuff and Bible journaling stuff in there as well. So go check them out. So what I'm doing here is just putting acrylic paint on my stamp. You don't always have to use ink. You can use paint, watercolor, whatever you have. And oh, my brush just went in there. I am going to do some stamping. Let's see, do we want it like that or like this? We'll have this one right here. So we want some dark spots, some darker things and that's why I'm doing it with acrylic paint 
Now, if you want it lighter, you can do, you know, uh, uh, watercolor or inks or what have you, but I really wanted this to be a little bit darker. And so I'm just throwing acrylic paint on here. Uh, let's see, let's do one like right here. I'm trying, <laughs> trying not to. Let's press it down a little bit more. I'm trying not to mess that one up. Um, let's see. A couple more. Yeah, fool around with the materials that you have. You don't always have to use things the way you think they're supposed to be used. Um, I'm going to have that one coming off the page right there. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do here. I'll have some right there. Just a few dark, darker spots. Let's do... That one right there. That one right there. And let's do again just a little bit right there. Okay, I think, let me look at that. Let me sit back and look at that. Hmm. I'm gonna put a little bit up here. Oh, didn't have any paint on it. Well, there we go. We'll put a little bit more paint. And we'll just have that kind of peeping in. There we go. Let me see. What do y'all think? Are we missing some spots? Mm, I don't think I like I don't want that there. I don't think I think we'll wait on that. Okay. So I'm just gonna wet this, let me grab that other, and wipe this off, but as you can see, most of it won't come off. I'll have to put this in the sink and rinse that off with some soap and water, but I'm gonna get most of it off there. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do is, I'll get that off as much as possible. I forgot to grab water, y'all. Actually, let me put some water in my cup real quick. I'll be right back. Got my cup of water. I'm gonna put my brush in here and let that sit for a minute. Okay, the other thing I wanted to do was I grabbed this color acrylic paint, which is, what is it? Crisp blue and then the metallic silver. I'm gonna mix these two. Oh, and you know what? I don't even think I even opened this one. Let's open it. This is the blue that it looks like on the top. I love when they do that. They give you the the color on the top so you can see what it looks like. Okay. Away. Shaky, shaky, shaky. I grabbed some texture modeling paste, texture paste. So what I'm going to do, let's move this over real quick, is we are going to kind of mix. So I'm gonna grab my palette knife. I don't think I need a lot. So I'm going to put that much. I could always add more onto my palette. Ugh, come on. Get it in the grooves there. Um, we're going to shaky, shaky, shaky. Put some of this blue here. Ooh, that's a really bright blue. Shaky, shaky, shaky. I'm gonna mix it with the silver because I want it to kind of um, sparkle. I don't know, we'll see what it looks like. We'll see if it works. I've never done this before, so hey, let's try it. So I am going to take the blue and silver and mix it into this texture paste. The silver hopefully will give it like a metallic sheen. 
because I don't have, you know those, uh, what is it, the, the stencil butters? I have certain colors. I do not have blue. So I'm kind of trying to imitate the shininess of the stencil butters with the texture paste here. Now, I bet if I have like a pearl color or something, that would probably work even better, but we'll see. I don't know. It's kind of, uh, it's giving it a little sheen, not much, but it's giving me like this silvery sky blue, I guess. But hey, you know, it looks pretty cool. We'll see if it shimmers and shines. I can't really tell. It might give it a little sheen and shine. If not, we can maybe spray it with some like shiny something or other. Let me dry this acrylic paint though to make sure this is completely dry. had some heavier paint on them. And I think I still might want to add some darker streaks to certain areas or maybe some silver. Maybe we'll just do silver. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. So now I'm gonna take the texture paste and I am going to put it through this stencil here. Um, and I'm gonna put it in certain areas. So I do want it to go over. Do we want it to go on her a little bit? Oh yeah. That looks cool. Okay, so let's do this. Let me grab some more. Where else do we want? I'm gonna put it, let's, hmm. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I wanna put some down here. So let's do this. really don't need a lot. I mean, you can make it very, very thin. I'm getting it everywhere. And then let's do some going this way. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And then let's do some over here. Hmm, where would we like some? Let's do a little bit right here. And a little bit right here. And maybe just a little bit right over here. There we go. Okay. Again, with texture paste, you have to get it off your stencil pretty quickly and off your nails. <laughs> get it off your stencil because um, it dries pretty quickly. So you want to probably get this in a sink as fast as possible which maybe I should go do that real quick just throw it in real quick and I'm going to get it off my palette knife as well because once it dries so you can see like it's hard to get it off maybe not so much on the palette knife it's easier but on stencils and stuff it's hard to get off so you want to get that stuff off let me throw this in the sink real quick put that cover on there
Okay, y'all, I'm back. <laughs> okay, let me grab another paper towel because now my hands are all wet. Okay, let's dry this real quick, quickly. I'm gonna move this stuff over. Let me make sure I'm in camera for y'all. Good to trace this, y'all. So look at all the layers we have. Some stamping, some texture paste. Now if you have stencil butter, you can use stencil butter. If not, texture paste. If not, just so. And again, by layering things on top of the girl or on top of your image here, it kind of blends her into the page. And I'm thinking this page still needs something. I don't know what. Maybe just some, some shimmer and shine. Maybe we should do some silver splatters on this page. What do y'all think? Okay, let's put that. What do you think? Should we do some silver splatters? Let me grab my brush here and grab the silver metallic paint. Should I just dip it in? Maybe we'll just dip it in and see what happens. What do y'all think? <laughs> I don't know. Let's try that again. Oops, a little too much there. I see a little bit. They're like little ones. I should probably maybe wet my brush more and get it more, more water, mate. Ooh, whoa, that's a little too much water. No. Dab that up. I'm getting really fine, fine ones. I don't know if you can see them on the camera. I'm getting really fine little teeny tiny splatters but it's starting to look cool so I'm gonna keep adding more <laughs> let's add some over here I feel like I'm just making a mess on my fingers but And I love some of these. They're like more like, like just like you whipped your 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 brush and it kind of just made like some big splatters across the page. I'm actually liking that. Like those little like. Those whip marks like. I'm in that corner. Okay. Oh, gosh, I am making a horrible mess, y'all. All over my everywhere. <laughs> Look at me. This is why I can't have good nails. My fingers and everything. But it's fun. I love it. I love being a messy creator. Oh, yeah. That silver really did add something to the page. It's, it's little, but it really did add a little bit. And I like that some of it got on her. That's what it was missing. That little silver or something. Just something. Love it. Okay, finally, let's do the tie.
title, y'all. So, oh, my hand tool just fell over. Okay, so I grabbed these, uh, whatever these are, <laughs> transfer, these le transfer letters, um, like rub-on letters. And I am going to write bold faith right here using these. So I am going to try to just get the letters and nothing else. So I'm gonna use this one. And these you just rub on, they're like rub on transfers. And I'm hoping I am just going, getting the one letter and nothing else. Okay, <laughs> B-O, let's do, I like that, O. B-O-L. Do we want that one? Let's do that L. And let's do that D. Am I, am I doing these straight, y'all? I can't tell. Well... If they aren't straight, that's okay. And you can tell when it's being transferred because it gets lighter on this side. I love these little transfer things. I have a whole folder of these from over the years. I really need to start using them more. Okay, F-A-I-T-H. I just wanna make sure it's gonna fit. <laughs> Let's do that F or do we want that F? I kinda like that F, that's pretty cool. Well, it will match. We'll do that if. Okay. Old faith. That's what I am praying. I really need, I need faith in general right now. <laughs> but bold faith would be good. I need to have some bold faith. I need to be strong in the Lord this year. It definitely has been a learning year for me. This has been the hardest year I have had um, faith-wise. Um, I really struggled with my faith this year, more so than I have in my whole walk with God ever. And so, you know, I know we go through stages and I know, oh, let's see, do we want that T? I like that T. Or do we want that T? Let's see what kind of H I have. I have that H. So let's do this T. Um... Yeah, this year has been the biggest struggle I've had in my faith. And so I'm hoping by the end of all this, I'll have even stronger faith. But whew, right now I'm kind of <laughs> hoping to have just any faith right now. I mean, I have faith, but have a, I want to have a strong faith. <sighs> Y'all just pray for me. <laughs> As I'm praying for you all. I mean, it's great that we can all pray for each other and lift each other up in the family of the Lord, for sure. And I know y'all are going through stuff as well. Okay, I love that. Bold faith. Let's see, do I have numbers? Okay, what is today? Today is August, so that would be, what, eight? Do I have an eight? Okay, and then today is the... Gosh, what is today? Um... Twenty-eighth. Do I have a two and an eight? Yeah, eight twenty-eight. Okay, let's do. I'll just put it right here. Okay, so it's the eighth month. And we are at the twenty-eighth. I like that two, or do I like that two? And this eight, eight twenty-eight, and then I'll just—I know it's—I'll put twenty twenty. Well, do I have two twos? No. Eight 
eight twenty eight, and then I'll probably just write in twenty twenty two, or I'll get some stencils and just stencil two o two two there with my black pen. So I got to go dig through my stencils eight twenty eight, and then I'll stencil in twenty twenty two somewhere right there. But there we go, y'all. There's our page. So let me grab this. Bold faith in Philemon, verse 8. I am bold enough in Christ to command to you what is required. Yet for love's sake, I re I prefer to appeal to you. I think that's what Jesus does too. I mean, he can, he can order us to love him or to follow him. But instead, he hands out like a gracious hand and says, you know, come follow me. You know, be with me. I will offer you life, abundant life, which I'm still waiting on abundant life, <laughs> um, eternal life. I know that's coming, you know, all of that. So instead of ordering us to follow him or demanding us to follow him, God just graciously appeals to us, kind of like what Paul is doing here. So Paul, again, here is a type of Christ to Philemon, just saying, hey, I, you know, I could order, command you to do what is right, but instead I am appealing to you. So in, in that, we have the boldness that, you know, Christ died for us and he is sitting next to the Father at the right hand, appealing for us, um, being our advocate, you know, for in heaven. And we are bold, we, being children of God, we have, we can have that boldness to walk into his throne room and walk up to him and come to him with whatever it is that we have. And, you know, I've been feeling that boldness lately because I've been crying out to him harder than I have ever, I think. And so I am feeling that boldness in that way. But now I need to establish my bold faith. And so that's kind of my prayer for myself right now. And then I have this envelope here where I can put my prayers in and my my petitions and whatever else in there. So here, let's bring this up closer. Here's our page. And I don't know if you can see, see those the silver up here at the top, look at that, when the light hits it, look at those. And I love the little streaks here that, I love that. Kind of like just thrown on the page. I need that bold faith thrown out there. But here's all the, the layering we did up close. There we go, there's a texture paste. You, can, you can't really see the silver in the paste, but it gives it a little bit of shine, not much though. So if you wanted a, a bolder shine, you might have to like spray it with some stickles or some, I don't know, some pearlescent something or other, some spray. I think I do have some, some spray somewhere, so you could probably do that. But here, look at, look at the silver along the edges here, I love that. And then here's my envelope for my little prayers and such. So bold faith. So I pray that you all are getting bolder in your faith as well this year. And it just keeps growing stronger. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.